honey have you had people say i know myself i am very faithful to god i am so faithful to god i don't know why god is treating me like this i'm so faithful have you had people like that i know why you're not answering because you're like that i know myself since i've been a christian i have never missed my tithe every morning in my family all my children everybody we pray every night we pray i have not cheated anybody there's no way god will not answer my prayer if that is the basis there are christians i'll tell you if if it's too much i will remove my cloth and stand naked before god that is occultism that's not prayer that's occultism that's witchcraft a christian remove all your cloth and stand before god where did you get that from it's occultic practice you brought inside the church i remove my cloth and stand naked before god when god sees my nakedness and i cry it's bewitchment christians are doing it they're doing it he said you know what the other time somebody looked for my trouble i wrote his name put inside bottle i pour oil i shake the bottle shake the bottle shake the bottle i smash it he died don't try me well from the scriptures i have understanding of is occultism is witchcraft it's not bible it's not there's nowhere jesus said and when you stand naked just come before me naked when it is too much when you can't stand it again lock the door remove all your clothes when i see you the way i created you i will answer you praise god there's a lot of witchcraft that has been brought to the church a, a lot of um, native doctor practices that have been brought to the church and a lot of african traditional religion that has been brought to the church and all have been mixed together as christianity and in fact there's also judaism that has been brought to the church and mixed all there's a mixture people are so confused they don't even know what is christianity anymore it's all kinds of jamboree and that's why the message of jesus that you're hearing me preach this morning is going to make the demarcation that's a dividing line it will expose all these fallacies and expose all this error and bring people to the knowledge of the truth and then you will truly see the power of the church the power of the church will be made manifest i prophesy to the first 500 of you whose amen will come like thunder you will manifest in power you will manifest in glory you will manifest in glory you will manifest in glory your opinion of god matters a lot your opinion of god is very key in fact it's fundamental that's why that's the first thing i'm dealing with i'm dealing with relationship and i'm dealing with your opinion of god do you notice that in luke 9 54 the disciples asked jesus that they should call fire down that they should call fire down like elijah call fire down hmm. they told jesus because jesus was going to a city and he wanted to pass through a village i mean through samaria to jerusalem and the samaritan said he cannot pass they put roadblock so the disciples of jesus said say what an insult if elijah a junior prophet couldn't take it jesus nobody should try it if it's elijah they will wipe, he will wipe away this village jesus let's clean it out quickly just like elijah after all you're bigger than elijah and when his disciples james and john saw this they said lord will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them let's consume let's wipe this this whole village clean it out jesus let's pass let them know that jesus of nazareth has passed look at what jesus said to them everybody read verse 55 with me very loud want to go but he turned and said the spirit in you is different from the spirit in elijah you don't even know what you carry then what is the next thing he said for the son of man is not come to destroy men's lives but to save them and they went to another village he left their village and looked for another way he didn't pray for them to be destroyed he looked for another way that changed their entire mentality Let somebody say i just prayed judgmental prayer on him he just died don't try me i am prophet killer have you heard of some men of god they call themselves prophet killer they are agents of satan i'm not joking any man of god that kills people is an agent of satan he is an extension of the department of satan because if jesus didn't come to kill in whose name are you killing it's a question in whose name are you killing i was taught to those kind of prayers i was taught to them in those days i prayed them in ignorance and at the time of ignorance god overlooks i prayed those prayers in those days, if you look for my trouble i kneel down for you if i kneel down for you I will command your intestines to start coming out through urine <laughs> through urine that as you're urinating is your intestine that will come out i will command your heart to shift from where it is and stay on your knee a prayer wicked kai satan god punish you 
kinds of babalao incantations because the people we are following taught us these things and we thought it was correct we, we didn't check the book we were just following human beings so at a point i had to stop and check the manual yes, and i found out that everything i was taught was extracurricular activity <laughs> jesus rebuked them he said don't try that we are not killers death is our enemy we are life givers thank you lord we are not killers we are life givers supposing you when you are an unbeliever you were killed will you be saved no. the reason why they are wicked is because they are not yet born again yes, just like they were patient with you you too be patient with them they will come they will come even that native doctor will be born again he will be born again because jesus died for him to be born again i didn't hear your amen yeah. if i'm teaching can i hear a better amen yeah. but you see you can pray with that impression on your mind because of wrong teaching you can carry that and make it a hot prayer you start praying and commanding people to die